to do this kind of work, you have to have almost sort of like a, a higher consciousness and a real understanding of, of people. I would imagine that you can even sense without sometimes people even saying the words when somebody is in need, when somebody needs to find their way again, their purpose, their meaning. You can sense that early without them sometimes probably even saying it, right? Right. <laughs> Yeah. I got the program. Done. <laughs> yeah. It's true. It's really true. Yes, huh? it comes across in many different ways. <laughs> it does, like you said. Of me feeling energy, of people's energy, it's an energy. Or a person's energy. But you really have to come to a point, you know, you'll get the ball rolling, but you, you teach them the tools they need to know to be able to, when Barbara Ann Rose is not in the room with them, be able to get through, to be able to tap in, to be able to deal with things, right? Mm -hmm. You teach them those tools. Yeah. What yeah. are some of those tools mm -hmm. that we Sometimes need? Sometimes I actually tell them, when you're in that situation, whatever that situation is, where you're feeling a little stress or, you know, whatever, what they're going through, I said, just imagine me, and you're right here next to you, and I'm speaking to you. Imagine me there, talking to you, and I'm saying this, whatever. Right whatever it was, that, that sense that I gave them. That's a tremendous reinforcement for them, yeah. too. And an affirm, or like an affirmation or a mind conditioning statement that they can use to help themselves. Remember when I told you this? You know, keep that with you. Keep it with you, work with that when you leave this place. What's some of the feedback you get from the people? Because I know that's incredible when you receive it. I would, the big thing that really comes across for them is to know that I care about them, that they are, it's, it's a comfort to them to know that there's another soul out there that doesn't even know them, no, no, that sincerely cares for them, for their whole, for all of who they are. Do you have a favorite or two of all the things that you do? I just love when I touch another person's soul. <laughs> Now, you and I have had an opportunity to do a radio series together. We've chatted off camera together. And I've gotten a real sense of, of you and your essence and the beauty and the value of the work that you do. Uh, it isn't just task oriented, it's on a real deeper level. If you were to able to answer the question of why do you truly love what you do, how would you answer that? I just want to see people happy and healthy. I love what I do and I want to do more of that. I want to help more people.